first grade biologist, so in the last couple of videos, I have mentioned food chain, how all of this learning about producers and consumers and ecosystems have everything to do with the food chain. Well, today is the day we get to learn about food chains. So the objective today is learn what a food chain is. Once you know what a food chain is, it will make all the learning we've been doing make sense. Why we've learned about ecosystems, why we've learned about producers and consumers. It makes sense because we are all depending on each other to survive. So first thing you got to know about a food chain, it starts with the sun. No matter what, the food chain starts with the sun. No, we don't eat the sun. No, the sun does not eat us. The food chain is about consuming the sun's energy as things get bigger. I know it's getting more more confusing. Let's look at a picture real quick of this. This is going to be a food chain. I'm going to take it off. So it starts with the sun. The sun gives a producer its energy. Let's think the producer is corn. The corn doesn't go and hunt wolves to eat. It gets its energy and nutrients and sources of food from the sun. So it's there. It starts out. The sun gives its energy to the, to the corn. Well, now the rat, which is a consumer, has got to eat. He doesn't produce his own energy and food source. So he's got to eat. And he says, ooh, there's corn. So that consumer, the rat, goes over to the corn producer. <coughs> Chokes on the corn. <laughs> Eats the corn. That rat now has the sun's energy that came through the corn in his belly. He is full. He is living. He is surviving. But then the fox has got to eat. He's a consumer. He doesn't produce his own food. He's got to go and consume something else for energy and to survive. So he's hunting. He is hunting. And all of a sudden he sees that rat who has a full belly from the corn. And he gets that rat and he eats the rat. And now he has the sun's energy inside of him. He is full and he continues to grow. I can go further. So the fox is happy. Yes, he's walking around happy, full. He is surviving because that's the whole point, right? But then the lion's got to eat. So that lion, much bigger than the fox, comes over. He's got to eat. He's got to survive. And he sees the fox and he attacks the fox and he eats the fox. And now he has the sun's energy in his body. And now he is full. And guess what? He survives. So there you go. That's an example of the food chain. You may have heard that humans are at the top of the food chain. We are. Because really nothing's hunting us for in order for us to be their source of energy. There's no lion outside of Corinth Elementary going, mm, humans, I'm going to eat the humans. Nothing's really hunting us. But here's our food chain. Let's give an example. So we're at the top of the food chain. We're hungry. We got to survive. So we eat and consume, because we're consumers, chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we are full. We have survived from that chicken. But the chicken had to survive before we ate it. So then the chicken, in order to survive before we ate it, ate the grass. And the grass was fed by the sun. So you're going to watch a video today. All I'm going to have you do is watch a video about the food chain. Remember, the food chain is the sun's energy going through, just for simplistic sake, bigger creatures. So starts with the sun, goes to a producer, goes to a, a bigger consumer, then it goes to a bigger consumer and maybe another bigger consumer. So watch the video. It's a long video. That's all I want you to do is focus. Be prepared because maybe one of these days. I'm going to have you act out your own 
food chain.